She's getting ready to get an upgrade. This this beautiful box contains a Hurst short throw shifter, so no more stock shifting and gear grinding. I'm getting ready to unbox this beauty, and we're going to install it. Um, not to be not to be awkward, but hey, Ryan, this is yeah. this is Ryan, <laughs> and he's gonna be helping me because he's done it before. So I'm gonna try and install it. Ryan's gonna explain and film. So yeah, we're gonna install it. All right. The contents of this package are very, very immaculate and yummy to look at. Dude, are these about to be the freaking bushings, the shift bushings that I ordered? That may be true. <laughs> so, not only did I order this, which is the short throw assembly with the knob and everything, obviously, but I ordered the bushings for the the base of the shift the shift like uh bracket and then like booger bushings and it literally I'm looks like pretty sure mine did not come with those these oh. are as well bushings so i might have ordered duplicates but oh well i don't care it was it was needed and i didn't know so there's the shifter and we have these are the these are the booger bushings, I think. Yes. Yeah. These, I think these are actually the ones for the mounting, like the, the shift. The base. The, the base itself. Yeah. So, now that we've got it all unboxed, I'm going to get everything out. There's six screws in the console that we have to take out. Get the console out of the way. <clears throat> so, yeah, if you go from that way, I'll go over here. Ooh, old girl needs some interior cleans. Yep. There's there's a screw in each cup holder up here, and then there's four inside down under this. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna film that. You guys know how to take screws out. So once we get the console out, I'll be back with you. No, I'm done. Okay, so we're gonna switch off a little bit just so Ryan knows, but just so we can show everything. Okay. Or because Ryan knows. Yeah. And <clears throat> you can just explain what you're doing while getting both the shifter cables off their actual locations. As you can tell, they already have um, someone previously installed booger bushings on this car already, but we're gonna pop them out and replace them with new ones anyway. Then after that, we'll move on to the next step of actually removing the main base so we can get it up on the workbench to take this assembly out to get ready to bolt the Hurst CNC'd block down. So. If I remember right, you can just pry up against that main. Yeah, it should be. Able, yeah, it's coming. Kind of oh, hey now. Hey <laughs> now. Trying to get them angles. All right. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. We're low on light, but. <clears throat> you see what he's doing? Just popping those bushings out of the. Out of the stud. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, oh, 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 face punch there. Man, them, them bushings are still nice and... Yeah, they're, I mean, they're pretty good. I just wanted go. to be sure. So now, now the Now we gotta get the retaining clips out as well. Is, is pretty loose, but then there's these Yeah, side, the shifter's just free playing now. Side boys here that gotta come off. And the, the cable's up front. So there's two... C clamp clips that go into the sides that he's getting off right now. Light was kind of bad. We just took two C clamps out of, or U U clamps, whatever you want to call them, out of this side, just that hold these shift cables onto the shift base itself. So now we're just getting that off, and then we're going to take these bolts out. Which it, the instructions say they're 10 mils, but mine are 13. So obviously you just figure out which size yours is. So we're just gonna get this whole base out of here. Look at that. All right, three eight millimeters. We're gonna take this whole thing out and start putting the short throw in. Oh yeah, there it is. <clears throat> okay, I just, I have to clean my hands before I put this nice boy in here. That's gonna go. 
right there. Look how freaking nice that is. Ugh. <laughs> okay, there's one thing we have to retain from uh, from this one. It's this whole piece right here because this is where the uh, one side of the cables go. I believe that's first, yeah. third, and fifth. It does it either one. So you got to take C clip. The C clip off right here. And then that'll allow everything to pull straight out and swap yes. straight over to the Hurst. All right, so we're gonna get that. All right, let's see here. Oh, yeah. We could get an actual C clip oh, wait, tool, but we don't have one. Whatever nowadays. Gotta do some prying. Yeah, I'm trying to get it straightened out so then I can come in here with the, the hammer. <laughs> No. You have a uh, real thin flat and twist it right out. Okay. Usually, they, usually they want to sling everywhere. But that one was pretty chill. Uh -oh. So we got got that one out. Does it all slide out? It should, for the most for the most part, slide out once we get that main shaft. Cause that spring pressure, you just have to kind of slip this over that that edge. Well, this should, yeah, it should all just slide, slide right out. Let's get this. This one's never been disassembled, I don't think. No, I would say, I would safe to say it's probably not. There we go. Oh, there we go. So it slide, slid right on out with some persuasion. Yep, so we're still going to need that spring that's over the top of that, um, what do you call that? Uh, kind of like a retainer, or just like a, I mean, I'm not sure the actual name for it, but it this thing rolls right on here, this though. bushing and goes over your uh, sidebar, which is on this as well, right. and then clips on and kind of helps spring load it back to center. Right. Okay, so now we're done with the old, the old boy. So what we just took off will, should anyways, slide right onto there. That's where the C-clip goes on the opposite side of this. Right, right there. So that'll all be the same. Um, and then this right here goes in here now. And that's what the end of that spring Right oh, there. Yeah. So this this went around this ball. So you, this has like a little channel. You can pry this apart. This will allow you to get this off because this little part goes through this channel. So we have to reuse that. We didn't realize that um, until just a second ago. So they supply you with with some grease. I'm gonna lube this thing up. Now we got some grease in there. This is kind of difficult because you gotta pry and. Okay. That's what I did. Yeah. My other one was really, really greasy, so. Alright, there shouldn't be anything else we need to use this for, so this is probably. Looking nice and lubricated. I would say, nice new grease. Yeah, this thing's gonna be solid. You can just tell. Yeah. Okay. Um, now that that is in there, now we can put this up where it's supposed to go. And that's what fixes it into the bottom of the base here. Okay. So yeah, that you have to go the opposite way of how it how the spring rests. So you can kind of see both sides have to go on each side of these. Then this can slide in here like so. That's why it was hard to get it out because the spring, the spring is compressed. There we go. There she is. Now did it go? It didn't, yeah, it didn't. Her over the... But this, the that still has to go in a little bit farther. Well, it may not go as far out as the stock one due to the fact that you're 
bottomed out there. Shouldn't that? You're just about. Oh well, yeah, you can try giving it a little bit more of a. There it's going. Okay, okay now now the the ball is inside of the white plastic bracket. So now we just have to put the C clamp back right there in our assembly for the most part besides like the actual shift knob is going to be complete completed. Also taller. There's like so many different things that have to line up. The inner plastic piece has a little notch. Ah, uh, that has to go in that little. Yes. So I'm trying to line that up so you can see. There's a little tiny channel for it, and I just can't happen to. Right there. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Perfect. That's good. Now we're assembled on the on the shifter itself. Um, so now we just got to put this back in, which we're going to take these bushings out if we can and uh, replace them with the other ones that I got before we mount it back in. But other than that, we're just going to pretty much go in backward steps what we did before. So there she is. Okay, anyway, I took, I took I these out which they're good um, but um and, uh, I went ahead and ordered new bird bushings so um, I just I literally to just took some channel locks and I was able to pro uh, pop those out and these pretty much slid right back in okay so we're ahead of ourselves again which is fine but these little metal sleeves are inside of of these bushings like that like th that's how they're gonna look so you take take these out and then you take the the bushing out itself and that'll allow us to be able to bolt it so there's new spacers but it's they instead of these being pressed inside of the plate it'll be the whole shift mounting bracket will be sitting on top of like a hardened urethane or not urethane but like more of a plastic type of bush all right the bushing was obviously in and I pretty much just took some channel locks and squeezed, and then Ryan got up under one side, or on the bottom side, and just kind of pushed, pushed out. So that's how he got those out. Pretty straightforward. They're really soft and kind of easy to get out. Okay, so my phone died. Ryan's filming on his phone now. Um, I don't know where it's left off at, but right now we're with the stock, or not the stock, the stock bushings come out of the shift base itself we have the the sleeves that were in the bushings these are the bushings that came with the kit so you slide these in the same like uh orientation they were before on all four so then the shift the base will go over the top of those and each each sleeve should make it to where they're it's pretty much fixed the diameter of the, the sleeve will actually be flush yeah, with the base. Right. So then now we're back to pretty much where we were. Once we get these cables back in, um, once we get the cables back in, watch. Slide that base forward a little bit. Okay. So now there's four washers 
that came with the kit as well. So then these will go over and that's what will um, fasten, or not fasten, but that's what will allow the bolts to hold the base down again. So now, just like how you disassembled it, all the nuts go back on each stud. 105 inch pounds for all you torque specific people. Hmm. There we go. Both shifter cables are attached. We are ready for the three, four stop adjustment. As well as we got the main flashy boy going on with both bolts ready for Loctite. You got the, the lock washer on them already? Yes, sir. Damn, it's weird sitting. Oh, back like that. Okay, so. There you go, if you wanna take those bolts out to put Loctite on them, you can. As you can tell, the ridges line up with these ridges on this side. Hard to see, cause you know, he just got amazing lighting in here. Make sure you got your lock washers on and the lock tight. It's necessary, which it wouldn't be hard to pop your shift boot off and tighten this, but you know, you don't really want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to have to do that, especially in the middle of some power shifts. Yeah. So about two months later, we finally got my transmission back. We're finally adjusting the shift stops, which is where we should be in the video. So the thing is to do, get these screws to where they're about flush on the inside of the shifter, if you can tell, right? Yeah, right there. So what to adjust the stops, what you do is put it straight into third. And basically we're just going to thread this in until it stops against the shifter. And then we'll get our nut. And once we get get that like that we'll go get the uh, wrench and make sure that we tighten it so it stays there and now we'll do the same thing pull it back into fourth and you can probably see this one a little easier thread it up until it hits the shifter once again and then we got an Allen key. I'm not sure what size this is. We'll figure it out. We got an Allen key here that we'll hold it with and then we'll tighten it with the wrench here. So then we'll be done. All right, so we're just, I'm just gonna go ahead and snug this. Make sure it don't move any, just for safety. All right, she's installed. That was a really long video and everything, but visually you've seen how to do this now. Now I gotta put the car back together. Thanks for watching.